Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, January the 15th, 2016, and we're excited to have with us in the studio, Charlie Bliss. You got your tree live in the studio yeah. with Charlie Bliss. Yeah, man, I hear Adam up here. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for coming up, guys. Everyone, everyone came up. They got sucked up by your guys' awesomeness. Thank you very much for uh, coming out and playing for us. Uh, I would like to know: ha- Have you all graduated or still in school? Anyone? We've, we've all graduated. <laughs> okay, cool. We look like we're summer. twelve. No, 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 no. I just read that you were in school recently, so I wasn't sure, like, at what point you had graduated. Uh, what degrees? I studied uh, creative writing. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Oh, uh, I have a BFA in recorded music. <laughs> okay. What is what exactly does that mean or um, entail? You know, it's a, like a they do like music production, performance, journalism, business. So it's like I learned a lot. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right on. <laughs> Others. I have a bachelor's of science in theater. <laughs> nice. And you? Uh, music performance. Okay. Right. Cool. So some music stuff, theater there. I'm just curious how your degree does or does not inform your music, like in the band, maybe your, the instrument that you play, you guys writing for Charlie Bliss? Um, I don't know. I Well, definitely for like, for us, like, or for me, I had like a ton of teachers who I would say, professors who were super influential and like just encouraging us to do things that I don't think we would have otherwise. Right. Like I had one professor in particular who's like, you guys should go on tour in California, like book it, see what happens. Mm. And like things that I just would have never really like pushed myself to do on my own because I felt like they were out of reach. Um, That was super helpful. I'm sure Spencer with creative writing. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like if you're doing any type of creative endeavor, it ends up like benefiting 
all the other ones. Right. As long as kind of like you're exercising that part of yourself, it's going to benefit you in one way or another. And there are definitely like tons of parallels between the type of stuff I was doing in class and the type of stuff I do with the band. Sure. So, um, yeah. E even the simple idea that you spend, you know, 15 hours a day playing your guitar, <laughs> eventually all you're going to be able to do is play your guitar. But if right. you're doing something else creatively, <laughs> then that can like leak in. Yeah, in I mean, way. to that degree, it kind of definitely helps with like discipline, like sure. the idea of just like sticking with one thing yeah. and just focus. Yeah. Yeah. Others? I mean, in terms of like, I mean, theater. Yeah, basically every time we have a practice, I, you know, I get some costumes and some props. <laughs> and, uh, we get down to work. He's been trying yeah. to get us to cover Sweeney Todd for like <laughs> yeah, months just now. No, but it is, a, you know, it was, you know, performance uh, isn't, you know, performance. So, yeah. either, you know, I'm happy to be performing whether it's in the music thing or, <laughs> or a theater or thing. Or a theater thing. Yeah. So. Do you think you'll still pursue theater at all? Who knows? Okay. Know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You, man? Yeah. Um, you know, even though I studied classical percussion, um, there's still a lot, of a lot of aspects of every style of music that you play that you can apply to other styles. Right. Um, like Spencer said, with discipline, that's another thing. Um, yeah. I mean, you can always kind of draw parallels from every... Yeah. yeah. Did you guys have parties? Like family come to a graduation party or did you get gifts or anything like that? When I graduated this past summer, yes, I did have a graduation party. And guess what? Neither of these two punks, Spencer and Dan, they didn't show. Ooh. Sam is, is On blast. my it's, older this brother. Is true. This is so true. he has no choice. He had no choice. Obligated. He had to, he had to, he had to I show up. I do, I do regret it, party. though, because like Hendrix family's catered. parties are unbelievable. Oh, yeah? I recently went to their Christmas party for the first time. It was a rager? It was insane. <laughs> it was like the most give me fun. A few, give me a few highlights. Well, well you first haven't off, been to like, my this Christmas is the party. most fun. <laughs> It's the most fun I've had at a party in like three years. That's awesome. Like, and it was a family yeah. party. That's yeah, freaking awesome. It was amazing. My yeah. mom is definitely listening right now and definitely stoked on oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> I I am being so genuine right now. It was it was unbelievable. That is that is awesome. He's just cool. Eddie Haskellin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, thanks again for coming out. You can roll into your next song. Um, ready. Really quickly, could you just play your guitar for me? Yeah. Oh, it's been cut now. Just talking on the mic for me. Sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. This song is called Gatorade. Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Charlie Bliss. 
Uh, I forgot to say that the week that I graduated college, I accidentally started an electrical fire in my buddy's car and blew it up, <laughs> what? Uh, which is uh, a story for a different time, but, you know, something <laughs> oh connected gosh. for sure. Um, I'm curious if you guys could add something to your stage, whether that's like lights or props or actually costumes. Have you thought about it or um, what would you do? A ball pit. Whoa, <laughs> yes. Well, wow. For you slide. to be able to go into... Um, I think for both, it Whoever would be fun to have. First. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Maybe some dancing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Dancers. Ooh. Wait, dancers. Or I think we you should dance. dance. I think okay. we should dance. When we yeah. were in the studio last year, exactly this time last year, like we were like waiting and waiting for like we were, while the songs were being mixed, and we yeah. created quite the dance to one of to one of our songs, which you may or may not whip out at some point. I don't know. We'd have to Maybe get someone else to play video. the song. Oh, well, sure, really sure, 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 yeah. It's yeah. tough. But, like, Sufjan does some, like, dancing with, like, you know, his... <laughs> True. Yeah. Sufjan's got it down. There's, yeah. There's yeah. Ways to and St. And Vincent, too. It's, yeah, it's oh, happening. So, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, maybe you just, since it is your song anyway, maybe you just play it on a track and you do the dance as, like, the <laughs> intro or, I don't know, something. Like <laughs> well, that. we just got off tour with Darwin D's and we are truly inspired. They, like, they have a lot of dancing in their mm. set. Not to their own music. They Not do, like, interludes. Like medleys or mashups. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, like, make mashups. Okay. And then in between... Of other like, people's music? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, like, in between uh, pieces of their set, They'll play that on a track, and then they'll do like beautiful choreography. To Interesting, it. <laughs> it's beautiful. So it it's actually beautiful. like it's not like jokey. It's pretty. It's, it's poetry it's in motion. Jokey, but no, it's, it's, it's a little it's totally jokey. jokey. Oh, okay, it is. Yeah. The key to any joke's success would be like like it wouldn't be funny if they weren't good at it, and right. they all like right. they all clearly totally. take it very seriously. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They right. know right. that choreography. So, so their commitment to it is what makes it humorous. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, Absolutely. it would be sad. <laughs> yeah, or it would be like really <laughs> awkward to watch. Yeah. Other thoughts on that? I don't know. Lights or any sort of like stage <laughs> even if you put stuff on stage slides uh, lights is lights is always exciting it's the least uh gimmicky or intrusive yeah. way to make a, a musical performance theatrical right and uh obviously we don't have anyone doing that for us right now but when we play venues that has someone who's like oh yeah trying oh, a lighting to make person. some cool light stuff <laughs> yeah. happen yeah, yeah. it's always really exciting for us it's We're hard like, not to oh. mess up <laughs> like, what is going yeah. on right there <laughs> you just stop playing like while you're looking up that's what I <laughs> yeah, like I'm like yeah. whoa <laughs> yeah, out. maybe someday we'll have lights and smoke. That'd be cool. Yeah. Did you do any of that stuff? Like, were you uh, in charge of any lighting design or any, you know, stage setup uh, with theater? No, I, funnily enough, did a lot of sound and I did okay. some, like, video design stuff. Okay, sure. I don't know how to use a lighting board, really. Yeah. Uh, did you direct the videos um, for Soft Surf? No, or I write did them not. Or anything? Oh, okay. I was nowhere near that. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Dan wasn't even in the band yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, who Who did? Uh, Sam's friend from college, Chris George, uh, yeah. he filmed them. My friend, uh, I went to college with him, and he was in graphic design and also did a lot of editing. And um, he's from Cleveland, so we flew him out for three days, filmed all three in <laughs> less than three days. Yeah, yeah pretty And much. it was a mad dash to the finish, but it came together. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we had sweet. so much fun. Yeah. I can't wait. That's like, I think I was saying my favorite part of it. One of my favorite things about being in a band yeah. is... Is getting, music videos? Is getting to yeah. come up with those ideas. It's yeah. like, it's really fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool when, I mean, you've already written the song, so they exist as their own thing. And then at some point, it's just like, you can just create anything you want for the music video, right? Totally. And I would also say, too, like, there's usually such a long gap between, like, mm -hmm. when you record the songs and when they actually come oh, out. Oh, right on. So, like, to keep you excited and, like, and stoked about, like, the creative process, I think it's really fun to, like, have that in the meantime to be like, what are we going to do? Yeah. And, and building... <laughs> A giant clam or whatever yeah, we yeah. did last time. Yeah, do you yeah. find that breathing new life into the tracks themselves, whether the lyrics or anything like that? I would I would say for sure. I, I feel like especially the more people you bring on, like, you know, one of my closest friends has helped us with a lot of the music videos we've done and, like, you know, explaining to them, like, you know, this is how, like, I feel like these two ideas connect or whatever, mm -hmm. like, causes me to go back to, like, lyrics and things that I was thinking, like, you know, when we were writing. Um, so definitely, I think it breathes new life into stuff. Cool. Sweet. Uh, thanks for sharing, guys. You can go into your next track when you're ready. Check, check. Okay. I don't know what to do.
This is Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Charlie Bliss. I love how you both do your own version of like a sort of snarly ad lib uh, <laughs> after some of the lyrics. It's awesome. Uh, you guys can get ready to go into your next song, and I will say a few things. Um, they're playing tonight at Shuba's, which is part of Tomorrow Never Knows Festival, um, which Audio Tree is streaming, so you can check it out if you're not in the Chicago area. Um, all the shows at Lincoln Hall, they will be streaming tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. So check that out. These guys are on tour. Um, going to Madison, Wisconsin for Frozen Fest also tomorrow and you can get the 7 inch out now take it away when you're ready Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Charlie Bliss. Before we roll into the last one, I saw an interview where you claimed that the morning was really, really crabby because you didn't eat breakfast. I'm curious what uh, I'm curious what your like breakfasts of choice are. Maybe collectively as a band, or we can go around individually. Well, wow. well today we almost oh, had man. a disaster because, because you couldn't find oh, breakfast. No. Well, no. Still well, so bad about okay. That. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it your fault? No. 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 Well, no. Okay. It's no one's fault. <laughs> We were rushing out, and the only place to, that made sense to go was McDonald's. Okay. And I have, like, a deep fear of, like, McDonald's egg smell. Like, okay. egg McMuffin smell. And we, like, we were rushing, so we had to eat in the van, and I was, like, uh, like on, on Barf Mountain. It was really, really, really gross. Where does that fear come from? Just having smelled oh. it before? You, did you work there? No, I <laughs> wish. Um, no, I, I was very hungover once, and a friend, like, doing something nice, like, brought me, like, some sort of, like, omelet roll of some kind yeah. and like <laughs> and, and I immediately threw it up so so there now it's go. like it's deep yeah association yeah. for the vomit yeah <laughs> like they say <laughs> barf mountain <laughs> like daily I say we go bagels I eat yeah. bagels almost every day okay uh, sometimes that's compromised by tour uh you know there's not always bagels around I feel but, so uh, bad for you Nan so sorry. <laughs> really because so sorry. Sometimes there's no bagels around. <laughs> Others besides bagels? I feel like the like general consensus would be would for sure be bagels. Okay. Is, is probably number one. Yeah. Um, Eva is a big fan of the sweet breakfasts. Okay. I do know. I do. So know like Belgian much. waffles kind of thing. Oh yeah, when you can get them. Okay. For sure. sure. <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my 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 breakfast of choice is uh, blueberry banana pecan pancakes. Whoa, which you make yourself or which are a recipe you've been <laughs> no, given? No, no, okay. No. <laughs> 
definitely but like a, when we can go to diners and stuff. That's okay. There's cool. this great place called Loves in uh, Nashville. Loveless. Which nope. Loveless. No, Loveless. 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 It's the most food I ever eat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's healthy. You, man? Oh, I mean, I love Eggs Benedict. We're oh, yeah. Dan and I, oh. we're Benny boys. We're Benny okay. boys, for sure. Dan and Sam go to the Benny we, intru- we introduced you to I had my Benedict. first Benny on the last, on our, the last <laughs> tour this summer. Uh, and, I, you know, my life has been changed. <laughs> ever yeah. since you've been we Benny, always man. end up talking about food in our interviews. <laughs> <laughs> well, food, food is an important component, I think, to any interview. So yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. You guys can roll into uh, your last one. And I will say again that um, Audio Tree, we're streaming the headliners of Lincoln Hall tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday. Check it out. She's got her Tree Live. Check them out at Shuba's tonight as far as 
as part of Tomorrow Never Knows Festival and at Frozen Fest tomorrow in Madison, Wisconsin. You can look to the website for um, future new music coming out. Thank you guys very much for performing for us. Thank you, Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew hooking it up, and viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Hell yeah. Yay! Yay!